Welcome to Kids Church for All Ages! I'm Teacher JC! And I'm Teacher Annika! Shout out to Natalie Olandai! Hey Natalie! Hey, you know what? Time flies so fast. I can still remember when we started the year with our series, Joseph's Clothes. Oh, yeah. And now we're concluding 2022 with one final series. Oh, that's true, Teacher JC. And it's only 21 days to go before Christmas. Are you excited about that, Teacher JC? I'm always <laughs> excited about Christmas. I look forward to celebrating the birth of Jesus with my family by giving thanks to the Lord for His love and faithfulness, eating delicious food, and also receiving gifts. <laughs> Speaking of gifts, that's actually what we are going to discuss in our December series. It is called Christmas, Christmas Gifts. Gifts. In this series, we will discover the symbol of the gifts given to Jesus at His birth. And we will also learn about God's gift to us. I'm excited to find out more about it, but first, let's play a game called... The Crown. Games are more fun when played with friends. That's why we've invited some of them to join us today. Well, what are we waiting for? Waiting for? What Wait, are we <laughs> waiting for? It's game time! to get the crown especially when you know that another team wants it but only one team can have it i agree guys in our game today we had to fight for the crown unlike jesus who was already a king even before being born on earth he's the king of kings and the king of all creation because he is god his rule is forever and we will learn more about his rulership and why he came here on earth after this time of worship. May your praises live in every word we speak And with every gift of breath we breathe you in All the works that you have done consume our hearts Who in all the earth compares to who you are when all the earth compares to who you are A thousand hallelujahs got to lift unto your name A thousand hallelujahs got to lift up once again All creation lift its voice to glory You are 
wonderful day that you have made. Thank you for the time that we can get to worship you and learn more about you. I pray that you would open our hearts and our minds to learn who you really are and how much you love us. And I pray that as we learn the love and receive the love that you have for us, give us the grace to love the people around us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Another way we can worship God is through our giving. So you may give your tithes and offering by following the instructions flashed on the screen. morning. Do you know what day it is? Christmas Day! Yes! I can't wait to open the gifts. What did you get for me? Before I tell you what I got, come here. I have a story to tell you. It's actually about the gifts the wise men gave to Jesus. With the Magi as the wise men, their story begins with gifts brought. As scholars and professors with a plan to pay attention to the stars with thought. The first gift was gold, a sign after following the star. Through times of new and old, of distances near and far. Gold represented royalty, making Jesus noble with a right. To make it a reality for all his children in sight. He's seen as holy, the one who sits on the throne. How could someone so majestic leave heaven and go on his own? Just to save our broken souls, he became man for you and me. He could have just stayed home, but he wanted to set us free. Another symbol for gold was treasure, making God's children feel special. Because we are so precious as the diamonds that shine through it all. It's amazing how much his love goes deeper than his crown. His ultimate gift was him coming down. So he can give us not just gems, but a beautiful life to be free. Yes, gold and silver are blessings, but God sent his son for us, you see. The pure joy that comes from having no more chains. Joy from the wise men seeing the star and believing that Jesus is the hope that reigns. Hello everybody! Today is gonna be a celebration. This month's gonna be a party, party, party. You know, life is not easy. Sometimes it's really hard, but we gotta take time. Hit the pause button and say pause, pause, pause to, your, to yourself and to your friends, pause and really celebrate. Take time to celebrate the things we value in life. In fact, I'm going to say happy birthday to some people. Happy birthday, Amaria Buenaventura. Happy birthday, Yana Felguera. Come on, you, I missed your birthday. This is the second year I missed your birthday, Yana. That's why I'm saying it right here. Because we need to take time to let people know how much we value them. We need to celebrate their, their lives. So we celebrate your life. Tell that high five your seatmate, your friend right now, and say, I celebrate your life. I celebrate your life. Come on. You know, hug each other and all that. 
because that's what birthday celebrations are about. In fact, for Christmas, that's what it is right now, right? It's Christmas time. We are celebrating the birth, the life of nobody else, but you guessed it, Jesus Christ. No, Christ, Christ, Christmas, it's there. It's in the name. I know we, we come with family, we come with friends, we go to feasting and festivals and all that. But the birth and life of Jesus Christ is the numero uno ultimate. Sometimes it should be the only reason that we're celebrating Christmas. We're going to talk about that this whole month, about gifts that celebrate that. In fact, gifts that were given to the baby Jesus. Because I love gifts. Don't you love gifts? High five if you want. Say thumbs up and high five each other if you love gifts. I have several gifts here. When you get a gift like this, you guys got a gift right now. Think about that. What gift would you like? And when you got that, you say, oh. I'm so much love. Like this gift from a missionary friend of mine was given to me. And boy, let me go see what it is. This is the first time I'm actually opening it right now, publicly in front of all you guys. Oh, I'm gonna love this. What is this? Oh, oh, it looks like some kind of, it's, 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 it's a decoration. Look at that. It's like a canvas decoration with flowers. And it says here, God is our refuge. Whoa, look at that. Wow. Have you received, gifts can be as simple as that, giving us a message from God that tells you, we love you, God loves you. I can have other stuff, other gifts that I love that really speak to your heart, like this one gift that I got. Because you know me, I love comic books. And I got this gift from my wife, this, thank you DC comic books. And it's got a slip case and it's got, oh, it's a huge comic book. And it's got this, Painted dust jacket. Look at that. Thank you, Alex Ross. Look at that. And it's got all these, these pages are, are huge pages painted with the life and, and story of these superheroes. Wow. And if you're like me, something like this really speaks to your heart. And my wife really told me how much she loves me with this gift or other gifts. My brother gave me this. I love also action figures. You like action figures? Highly posable, locking arms. Annabelle, look at that. Look, look at that. Yeah, look at all those poses. The transformer here. Those of you who watch those things. Oh, wow. My brother made me feel like I look. Or if some of you are looking for gadgets, right? Looking for gadgets. That would really tell you, oh, you love me so much if you got a, if you got a gift like this. So we love getting gifts. Think about that. What gift do you want to have? And that which gift will tell you how much they love you. So thinking about gifts, let's think about the gifts that were given to baby Jesus. We're going to be talking about that the whole month. We're going to go to Matthew chapter 2. Right? The story goes like this. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time when Herod was king. Well, there were some of these wise men who were from the east and came to Jerusalem and they were looking. They were looking for, where's the baby Jesus? Where's the baby Jesus? Are you looking for Jesus during this season? Or is it enough for you to see that, with the, that, that guy in the red suit? Is it enough to see the exchange gifts and all the partying? Are you looking for Jesus the way these wise men were? And as we continue on, they, they, we, they were saying, we need to find him because we came to worship him. And the wise men got to see the King Herod. And after they met King Herod, after the king talked to them, they left because they, they wanted to see Jesus for themselves. You know, you want to see Jesus for yourself? And they started following that star. There it is. Let's go there. Let's go there. Oh, there it is. Let's go there. Let's go there. They were there following and following and following. And they came to a house where the star rested, went inside, and they saw the child Jesus there with his mom. And when they saw him and his mother, they bowed down. They bowed down. They worshipped him and they gave him gifts. They gave him. This is the first treasure we're going to talk about. They gave him gold man gold what did you want to have some of that gold they gave it to baby jesus they gave him gold frankincense and myrrh we'll talk about those in the next weeks but gold you know what gold symbolizes what it means when you give somebody gold that means they're a king they're royalty who would like to be royalty i gotta give you some gold man that's what it says in fact a prophet 
hundreds of years before Jesus was born, already declared him the king. You know, look to the Bible and go to the book of Daniel. Daniel said this, he, Jesus was crowned king and given power and glory so that all people, everybody, point to all the people on the side, you poke at them, all people, all people, all people of every nation and race would serve him. Okay? And not just that, he said, Daniel said, the prophet, he will rule forever and his kingdom is eternal, never to be destroyed. Jesus wasn't just a king. He was an eternal ruler. And the whole world was waiting for this king. The Jews had waited all their lives, their whole generation after generation. Where's the king that will save us? But they didn't just get the king that would save the Jews. They got a king, but a all the world, all of creation. And his kingdom wasn't just a physical kingdom. It was a spiritual kingdom. It was an eternal. eternal. See, that? See that? Eternal. eternal. Not the movie eternal, but the actual forever kingdom. Eternal kingdom. But Jesus is a king forevermore. You got to get this point. Jesus is our king who came to save us. You know, we were, we were, we're in bondage to sin. Death is creeping up all over in our lives. But he came to free us from the bondage of sin and death. So now we can be with him. We can, we can serve our king. We can praise and worship our king. Not just once, not just twice, but forever. And that's what the gold is talking about. So I hope you know that in, you're during this Christmas time, you think about whether you have no gifts at all. Doesn't matter. You don't have that action figure. You don't have that gadget. You don't have that book or that song or that movie you always wanted. Or even clothes, maybe. You got none of these things, you know? That's cool because you got Christ. But never, ever forget, Jesus is the best gift we could ever have. And just like a gift, I can give it to you right now. I can give you this. I can try to give it to you. But unless you take it, unless you receive it, it ain't yours yet, right? It's still in my hands. But if you receive the gift, now it's yours. Jesus was the gift God gave to us. So will you receive Jesus Christ? Just say, I receive you, Jesus, in my life. You're the best gift. You are my king. You are my savior. So receive it like that. And guess what, parents? We, can I ask, what kind of king is, is Jesus? Let's trust this king for our children. Let's trust this king for our lives. As you receive him, oh man, he's going to love you so much. He's going to show it. So we will never, ever, ever forget. No matter if you're exed with all these things, no gifts at all at Christmas. Even though it's a really quiet Christmas, you still have the greatest gift of all. Jesus is God's best gift to us. And the power of verse, John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. How long can you say eternal? Eternal life. Do you ever have a gift like that? You can't have a gift like that. There's no gift like that. There's no king like that who would give his own life sacrifice himself just for those who's supposed to be serving him but he's the one who sacrificed and served us can we pray for our, pray for our king lord we don't have gold say that lord jesus and you tell lord jesus what you want to give him lord give him gold lord we want to give you gold lord we want to give you so many of our gifts our gadgets all these things because you're worth it everybody say that jesus you're worth it but we don't have these things to give. Would you have our hearts? Close your eyes and pray to Jesus. Jesus, would you have my heart and my life? I want my life to honor you and show the world. Everybody say this. Said, you, Jesus, our Lord and King Most High, who love me the most. This we pray. Help us celebrate you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Now you party hardy, okay? Because it's the birth of Jesus we're celebrating. God bless you.
Here's what Christmas is all about and why we celebrate it. On Christmas, we celebrate the miraculous virgin birth of Jesus Christ, which ultimately led him from the cradle to the cross where he was crucified for all of us. And now we crowned him the King of all kings. Like Jesus, all offspring of God are royal members of his kingdom. Our goal is to genuinely get to the place where we grasp the truth about who we are as royalty and what that means for us. For Christmas and for always, may Jesus be the King of our heart. Remember that Jesus Christ is the greatest gift of all and He loves you. For our family con, here's the question. Hey Crafty Kids! It's me, Teacher Sophia! I'm so happy to be back doing creative things with you. But first, shout out to Rainiel Bautista, Lil Rayel Angeles, and Kin Philip Delgado. It's 21 days before Christmas! Are you excited? For the month of December, we'll be doing crafts that are related to the symbols of gifts given to Jesus at His birth. Today, we'll be making this crown ornament. To do this, we'll need one crown template printed in yellow paper or gold cardstock, A pen and template printed in any colored paper, a 10 inch ribbon, some gem stickers, or you could have coloring materials like crayons and markers, some scissors, and glue. Let's get crafting! Take the crown template and cut it out. You can try twisting the paper around to make it easier for you to cut around edges and circles. Next, take the pen and template and cut that out. So this is going to be easier to cut versus the crown template. Attach the pennant to the bottom of the crown using glue. So I'm going to take the top part of the pennant and put lots and lots of glue to make it sticky and then we get the bottom part of the crown and stick that there. Turn the crown over and attach a looped piece of ribbon at the top. So I'm going to take this ribbon, get the edge and put lots of glue on one end, get the other end stick it there to make a loop and then at the back of the loop we put lots of glue and glue on the crown and then you flip
flip it over and this is what it looks like. Next, we're going to decorate the crown with gem stickers or crayons. So I have here a whole sticker sheet of sparkly, sparkly gems. Aren't they so pretty? And I'm gonna take the gems and stick them over one by one onto my crown. I think I want to use different colors for my gems. Ooh, I want to try using the small ones too. And I'll add one last small gem on top. Oh wait, I think I want to use the diamond shaped ones. Then I'll take a purple crayon so it matches the purple pennant and I'll draw some zigzag patterns on the crown. And last but not the least, using a marker, write King of Kings on the pennant and you're done. What a lovely Christmas ornament! You can hang it on your tree or your doorknob. The crown and pennant symbolize Jesus' royalty. He was not just born a king, he was already a king before being born on earth. Not only that, he is the king of kings because he rules over all creation. For this Christmas and always, may Jesus be the king of our hearts. If you want your crafts to be featured in our service next week, you know what to do. Send us an email of your photo to our email address, kidsfort at victory.org.ph. All photos will be sent to our email and shown online. We'll also give you one raffle entry for our craft raffle for the month of December. That's it for craft time this week. See you next week, Crafty Kids!